Sophie here, and today I'm going to give you the skinny on GMOs. What they are, what all the fuss is about, and most importantly, how to avoid them. Alright guys, so what is a GMO or a genetically modified organism? Really simple. It's a living organism that can be a plant, it can be an animal that's had its genes altered for a particular outcome. Easiest way to think about it is this. A tomato, this by the way has actually happened, a tomato is genetically modified in a lab with a fish, can you believe that, to make it more cold resistant. So that's a kind of pretty uh, extreme example, but you have plants crossed with animals, crossed with bacteria. Now, what is the fuss about? Well, the most obvious fuss is is it safe? Is it safe to be doing all this finagling in the lab of the foods that we eat and ingest every single day? Well, I'm not sure. Nobody's sure. That's the point. Actually, we are like a giant human experiment because this has only been going on since the early 90s. So it's not been long enough for scientists and the medical community to determine if it's safe for human health. A lot of tests have been done on animals with not such great results. So I don't like to take that risk personally. Now, the most important thing for you to know is what are the most genetically modified foods currently in the US? Here's what they are. Corn, sugar, sugar beets, but sugar, 50% sugar in the US, soy, canola oil, and zucchini. So those are the five that you really wanna watch out for and try to make sure that they're organic. Because if they're certified organic, by virtue of that stamp, of that certification, it means that they should not contain or have been grown with any other genetically modified plants. So that keeps it really simple for, for you. And finally, the most important thing to me is your right to know. I believe that I have a right to know if my foods are genetically uh, modified or not, right? Same with you. But the fact is in the US we don't have that privilege. 64 other nations in the world do. It's legally mandated. They have to put that on that label, on every food label. When I go to the UK, it's there in plain sight. This food contains genetically modified um, organisms, ingredients, whatever. In the US, no such knowledge. I'm a little bit pissed about that. If you are, follow the link below this video and then you can click on a petition or sign a petition and make your voice heard if you feel as strongly as I do. I will see you next time.